Take three. <laughs> Happy Friday. Okay, I am coming to you with Premier Yarns. That entire box is full of yarny goodness. They had some amazing sales um, last weekend that I just had to take, partake in. Um, I'm trying to venture out beyond just wool, cotton, and acrylic yarns. But the best thing in there is the new anti-pilling everyday worsted gradient yarns. Now, if you remember a few months ago, they came out with these Just Yarn Worsted Value Ombres. This one is in the colorway salmon. As you see, it is still factor sealed. There is a reason for that. I'm not a huge fan of the ombre yarns. Um, they were frustrating. This is just one skein of the ombre. However, there is missing pieces to this. This is just a little tiny granny rectangular granny square um, pattern that I followed from Sarah Satch Crochet Designs. Um, the big problem I had was there was a lot of knots in the skeins. Um, I wasn't too happy with the way the colors were flowing with the ombre. Uh, this one that I started here, this is fuchsia ombre. I just, I started a granny square with it. And I mean, it's okay so far on the granny square, I think, I guess. Um, I might continue and make another little cuddle blanket with this fuchsia yarn. I haven't decided. My other problem with this yarn is it was very loosely wound. And as you can see, it's already coming apart with that center pull. Every time I pull, this wants to just give way in here. Um, so this is one of my timeout projects. I talked about timeout projects in my Thursday video. Um, and then... Don't rip that baby. Be careful. Um... I also had the teal, I think this was teal ombres. I started a baby blanket with it. This is two skeins of the teal ombre. Again, I didn't like the way it was flowing. It was, the pattern did not look good with the ombre. Um, so therefore I undid the baby blanket and started with a whole nother pattern. Um, from, well, I put a short up. It, there's actually a short on my channel of the Star Baby Blanket, and I will be giving a full review of the pattern and the yarn that I used for it next week because I'm almost done with the Baby Blanket. It, it, the pattern works up that fast for a 12-point star. So, anyways, I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, like I said, they came out with the new yarn. I have not seen any reviews on it yet. Um, I was not going to purchase this, I'm going to be honest with you, just because the price tag was a little bit of a turnoff for me. Um, I like to be frugal when I'm buying my yarn, or if I'm going to spend that much on yarn, I like to know that what I'm getting is a good deal. But I decided I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to jump on this bandwagon and I am going to get, I feel like this might not be all of them. I don't know. I don't know. It may or may not be. If it's not, whatever, it's okay. I'll check my thing when I come back. But this... Oh, well, see, they're going to all come apart on the stack. So there are those. So there's four colors here. I thought I ordered five. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just can't count today. It is. It's Friday. Um, so really quick, I have my little helper next to me, and he really wants these colors. So let me just show you really quick. Um, this is... 
the yellow and I'm having a hard time getting my camera to focus so there is what it is I like that it has a sticker now for the pull it feels pretty soft to me it's really squish um, 360 yards 330 meters 7 ounces 200 grams this is a medium 4 100% anti-pilling acrylic fuzzies in there. Anyways, uh, so it's your basic specs for uh, Premier Yarns, your 5mm knitting needle and a 5.5mm and crochet hook. Um, tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. It is machine wash warm tumble dry. And then if you want patterns and inspirations, you can go to PremierYarns.com. I am in no way affiliated with Premier Yarns. I just love their yarns and I've been now buying them Officially one year as of yesterday. Yesterday was my one year since I started buying Premier Yarns, and I have been in love with their yarns. Except for those ombres. Those ombres really frustrated, frustrated me, but anyways. So this is how the yellow is supposed to work up. If you look, you can see it kind of just... It, this looks like it's going to flow a lot nicer than you go from a really light, almost like a banana... And then you just keep going into darker and darker yellows. And my camera's not doing this justice at all. Um, so this one's the yellow. And then I also purchased the Sky Tones, which I just love the Sky Tones. Same specs. Sorry if you can hear my grandson. He's right next to me. He loves blue. Go. Be careful with that. Treat it like an like it's an egg, okay? It's very delicate. And then this is pink tones. This one's really nice. I like this one. It goes in from very, very light to dark. This one doesn't have a little pull tag, but you can see on the bottom here where it's center pull. Um, so there's that one. And then this one is the green tones. And again, these are super, super soft. This does have the pull. Tells you pull here. So that's really nice. And like I said, the specs are the same on all of these. Um, so there's those. Those were $8.99 a cake. And then I also purchased, because like I said, I want to venture out into different yarns, aside from acrylic and wool and cotton are my, my three preferred fibers of yarn to crochet with. Um, but Premier had their Parfait Chunkies on sale for $3.99 a ball. So I let the yarn speak to me. And I purchased several of them, and I'm going to just show you this one first because it's blue. He wants it. So this is 131 yards, 120 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 100% polyester, tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. This is a super bulky 6, 8 millimeter knitting needle, and an 8 millimeter crocheting hook. This is in the colorway turquoise. And it is machine wash warm, lay flat to dry. Um, so again, that is that one. And it is a pretty good size. Pretty true to size on that. So again, this one is turquoise. And then I also purchased <laughs> coral. Okay. And then this one is seal. And then I had to go with my love of pink and get bubble gum. Okay. And then 
This is a cream color. And then this one is sea glass, which I absolutely love sea glass. Okay, so there's all that. And then I don't know if you guys are like me, but when, yeah, I feel like my whole, I feel like my whole order is not here because, oh, no, there it is. I did find it. Never mind. Okay. So also when I was purchasing these yarns, please bring the yarns back out here, babies. Okay. Come on. So another thing they were doing on the weekend that I purchased my yarns was they were giving away free canvas totes with any purchase. I think it was a $40 or more, which was not a problem for me. But then, you know, they get you and they, you're only so many dollars away from shipping. So I was finally able to get the tapestry needles from Knitter's Pride. These have always been out of stock every time I've tried, so I got two of these. And then I purchased two more of the wool needles. I really like these. I have way more packs of them than I know what to do with. Um, so anyways, that is my Premier Yarn Haul. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a swatch of one of the new colors. And then I'll come back on here and make another video of that and let you know how it, how it is. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm watching my grandson. He's taking every one of these colors and lining them up in his play area. I don't know if I'm going to get these back friends. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that is that. Um, I have another little bit of yarn that I purchased from Lion Brand that's already here. I might show that off with a Stenley cake that I've got coming from Brenda's Knots and Loops that is supposed to be here tomorrow, Friday, I think. Um, so yeah. So I think that's it for now, friends. Um, next week, I think I'm going to come on here. I've got a couple of ideas for videos that'll kind of go along with Thursday's video that I did talking about chaining in multiples and, and stuff like that. I know there's a ton of videos out there, but I want to put my own video out there and just, you know, show you what I know, what I've learned and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. So I think I'm going to get off of here, uh, like I said, and get on with the rest of my day. I've got laundry to do and fun stuff like that, litter boxes to scoop. Not my fun job, but you know, you got to get your fur babies. So I think with that said, friends, I'm going to go. I will be back next week with at least three videos. Yes, three, because I will show you the little bit of yarn that I've got coming from Brenda's Knots and Loops, which I'm super excited about. It's another, uh, this one is, I think I ordered the Baby Muffin or Mini Muffin, it's called, but that's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, and then I'll show you the little bit of Lion Brain yarn that I have, and I will throw in some yarn that I purchased recently at Joanne's, some yarn that my husband bought me at Walmart for a project for my mom. And I have just a tiny, tiny bit of Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. Um, I kind of jumped in late on the game on that because I wasn't going to partake. But I was right next door at Joanne and I was like, yeah, let me pop in and see if there's anything left. And there was. There was actually um, a yarn that I wanted to try. So, But I refused to pay full price for it if I didn't like it. So that will be a video next week. There will be the video on chaining in multiples and... Yeah, what was the other video? Oh, yes, the gradient cake. I will work up a swatch on that. And um, we'll talk about the, the gradient cakes from Premiere. And I'll give you my honest review on that. So, with that said, friends, again, let me close out this video. Let you all get going. Um, remember to be kind to one another. Be blessed. 
I love you all, and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye, friends.